Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Crazy Bat Lady. So today I want to show you how to play official. I want to show you everything there is to know about our princess and her best artifacts, best weapons, best teammates, and some good tips and tricks on how to play her as a main DPS and off-field support and more. So let's jump right into this, starting with her skills. Now, if you're using her as a DPS, of course, her auto attacks are going to be her main source of damage because there's actually quite a high modifier on these and she fires them off really, really fast. So what you want is a lot of physical damage bonus and attack percent bonus, and you'll be dealing boatloads of damage using her bow. And there's lots of great options for this as well. Now her second ability is where she casts Oz, and the initial bird cast um, does a big chunk of damage, and Oz will remain on field for a while, shooting lightning from his beak. And you can use this in tandem with Midnight Phantasmagoria and have 100% uptime. Well, almost 100% uptime. If you have her C6, it'll be 100% uptime. So she regenerates energy for herself very easily as well. So you'll, you'll be having your burst up a lot. And when you cast Midnight Phantasmagoria, you actually turn into the bird and fly through enemies, dealing electro damage. And once the ability is over, Oz is reset onto the field. And the same stats from your elemental skill apply to the Oz that's cast and set on field from Midnight Phantasmagoria. So that's why I'm seeing these two work in tandem. Her first passive talent called Stellar Predator is not used very often, but basically if you shoot Oz while he's out, it'll shoot a more powerful arrow. And he has to be in shooting range of the enemies. As you see, I shoot Oz and it'll shoot a little AOE of lightning that deals 152.7% of your arrow's damage. As you see here, I'm hitting like 14,000, 15,000. And now I'll shoot Oz. And I'll be doing 24,000, as you can see there. Let's do another take here just for consistency sake. And it is an AoE. It's not a big AoE, but as you can see, it, it does hit multiple enemies if they're close. It's got the 24,000 proc there a couple times. Um, her second passive, Undone Be Thy Sinful hit Hex, um... Makes it so every time that an electro reaction is triggered, this includes swirl, 80% um, of Fischl's attack will be dealt as electro damage to the enemy. And this is why when you're running a taser team with her, there's just so many purple numbers. And this adds up a lot, trust me. This is a really nice passive ability. A lot more useful than the first one. It's, I mean, the first one can be kind of fun. It's a little niche, but not used very often. And of course, when dispatched on an expedition in Mondstadt, the time is reduced by 25%. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about for tips is animation canceling. Now, as much as I love her animation at the end of her combo, it does take a long time and if you use some animation canceling, such as dashing, that's what I do. I use controller and that's the easiest for me. Plus I can reposition myself around the enemy. When you reach your final hit, you dash away. And another way to do this is when you reach your final hit, you aim just for like a half a second and you'll actually get another shot off that way. This is a lot easier on mouse and keyboard. So I'm probably not giving the best demonstration of that one. But once you master that, you'll be getting shots off a lot better and faster. Another thing that is worth mentioning is that Oz lasts a long time. 
So you can see Oz lasts on the field for a very long time, and he'll be constantly shooting at the enemies. And when he disappears, if you have Minette Phantasmagoria, you cast that, and Oz comes back. And you can pretty much have 100% uptime on Oz, which is amazing because of how much damage he does. And see, the Omen to Skill is ready again. You can also reposition Oz as you see fit. Like if you want to move him closer to some enemies, you can go as far as you want. As long as the duration is still there, he will follow. Do keep in mind that Oz snapshots, and if you have a buff up and you reposition him away from the buff, you'll lose the buff. And vice versa, if you move him towards a Bennett Circle, for instance, you will um, get the buff from the Bennett Circle. Do keep in mind his aiming is a little weird at times like I, I don't know why he's shooting at these barrels but not as bad as guoba but do keep that in mind his aiming is pretty random here's another thing with midnight phantasmagoria you can dash through many enemies and deal a lot of damage or you can also cast it and switch to it another character quickly if you're just trying to damage one enemy All right, now I want to talk about physical official because she can deal a ton of damage with her auto attacks, as you see here, uh, in some pretty high numbers. This is the physical domain, but she is very strong in this regard. She's single target, but she hits that single target very hard. Now here's a team I'm going to recommend to you. Um, if you have Zhongli, uh, Zhongli is great because he lowers resistance. And if you use him with Yunjin, Yunjin is going to be one of Fischl's very best companions. You also get Geo Resonance using them together. And Shenha is a great character to have on the team too because she's Cryo and can help you get super conduct. And she also has a passive ability. That makes it so your normal charge and plunging attacks deal 15% more damage for 15 seconds. And also lowering the resistance of physical damage on enemies. You can also use Rosaria. Rosaria C6 also has the same effect. You can use Diona. She's a shield, a heal, and a superconduct procker all in one. So there's many options. You can actually run Cryo Resonance if you want some extra crit chance too. Uh, Bennett is great for official as well. So is Xing Cho. Uh, then you can get the Superconduct, Freeze, and Electro Charge. So you'll be proccing Oz's abilities more. All right, now let's get into the build. There's actually a, a couple different ways that you can build your DPS official. Um, this is using a four-piece pill flame, which I do not have the best set for, but it gives a ton of physical damage bonus. And this is before the set bonus is procced. So you can see where this is going. Mitternox Waltz is definitely one of her best weapons. Um, as far as four-star weapons go, I would Highly recommend this at Refinement 5 only, though. Anything under Refinement 5 is pretty subpar to Rust. But this gives you the best of both worlds because it's kind of like having a mini Rust and a Stringless in one. And the Rust is an amazing option as it gives you attack percentage and 80% normal attack damage bonus. So that's really good. If you happen to have Thundering Pulse at any refinement, this is an amazing bow for her. I was trying to get it, but I did not get it. And if you have this, you are very lucky. Try it out in Fischl. You won't be sad. Now, if you don't have any of these, uh, the Hami Yumi can be okay at Refinement 5. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a mini rust. I would definitely suggest rust over this, but if you don't have that, it can get almost to the level of rust. At max refinement, it can get up to 64%, which is okay. But I would definitely say go for Rust. Her other good options for DPS are any of the crit weapons, obviously. 
whatever you need. Skyward Harp is great because it has a little physical AoE. And as you can see here, my, my crit rate and crit damage is much better using this weapon. So I would suggest that in a lot of situations. I'm just very stubborn and I like the Mitterdox Waltz because it looks so good on her. It also deals hefty damage. The Amos Bow is also a great choice because it gives her so much bonus attack. The Black Cliff War Bow is fine. Um, that'll actually ramp up your damage quite a bit after killing enemies. Another fine choice is Compound Bow. Compound Bow has a huge physical damage bonus and also increases your attack percentage and attack speed while using. So this is a very viable free-to-play choice. Now for artifacts, Four Piece Pale Flame is definitely one of her best sets because of how easy it is to proc because you're always going to have Oz on the field and Oz is going to keep shooting the enemies and keeping the four piece bonus up at all times, getting you 50% physical damage and all and an 18% attack bonus. So for substats, you really just want to get crit rate, crit damage and attack percentage because that's what Fischl wants. And a physical damage goblet is recommended an attack percentage goblet can work, but that's more for hybrid build. I'll get into that more later in the video. And obviously a crit rate circlet or crit damage circlet, whichever one that you are needing the stats more. Another set that's really strong is Shimanoa's Reminiscence because the four piece can increase your normal attacks by 50% plus you get a nice 18% attack bonus and she's always regenerating energy so it's easy to keep that passive up so I highly recommend that one now here's what a rotation typically looks like with your official DPS you get your super conduct going on um, get your Zhongli shield cast your Yunjin if you don't have her um, your Bennett or whoever and just go ham on the enemies pretty strong okay so as i mentioned before the best four pieces are going to be shibinawa and pale flame but you can also use two piece blood stain two piece pale flame shibinawa glad and that's pretty much the best artifacts that she has and her best weapons are going to be the thundering pulse the rust and the bitter Nox waltz but most of the crit weapons will work as well, including Polar Star, Amos Bow, and Blackliff, and some others. Everybody stand back. Quiver. Stand All right, so let's talk about Oz a little bit. Or an Electro build. Oz can dish out ridiculous amounts of damage, especially for being an Electro... Her being an Electro character and having an Electro pet, like... This bird does a ridiculous amount of damage. And as you can see, when you're in the Bennett circle with the Sar buff, I'm dealing quite a bit more damage after I moved him because the snapshot wore off. So keep that in mind if you're moving around Oz. And great teams for this are going to be Taser teams. Uh, Taser team is really where Fischl is going to shine. And you can use Beto or Kokomi in this situation. Either will be great. There's also the Sukokomon team where you basically use all the pets and swirl them with Sucrose. Very strong team. You can also run her as a battery on a Geo team or she works in so many situations. Um, and that's also to keep the Geo particles coming. And also an overload team she works really well in. So yeah, she, she can work in a lot of different teams as your sub DPS and she does battery pretty well. Keep in mind the Favonius bow does not work on her. It'll work for the Oz cast, but the Oz continuous damage will not proc Favonius bow. All right, so you build her very similarly as a physical build. You want lots of attack percentage and crit rate, crit damage. Skyward Harp is a great option if you have it because Oz can actually trigger the little AoE physical damage. 
Polar Star is probably going to be the best option here if you have that one. Again, especially at high refinements, uh, you are very lucky and <laughs> you're going to be doing pretty well. Um, other options are the Stringless or Midranox Waltz as they just give you flat damage increase on your elemental skill. Windbloom Ode is kind of copium, but you can make it work if you don't have anything else. Uh, Blackcliff Warbow is fine, but you will be missing out on the passive quite a bit. Um, and of course, the other crit weapons, as mentioned before, are fine. Um, Amos Bow is great because it gives you so much attack percentage. And this will actually help you deal some pretty hefty damage with Oz. As you can see, uh, her attack went way up. As she skills very nice with attack percentage. So out of those options, that's that's probably my best recommendations. Um, Sacrificial Bow, I, she, I wouldn't use because she doesn't need energy recharge, being that she batteries herself so well already. Okay, so the ideal situation is to get a two-piece Gladiator slash Shimanawa and a two-piece Thundering Fury. You can use a four-piece Thundering Fury, but I don't recommend it as it's very dependent on the situation, and I would rather get the two-piece Gladiator for more consistency, and farming a four-piece of that is a pain in the ass. So you're going to want Electro Damage Goblet and Crit Rate Crit Damage Circlet, whichever you need more of. Here's a mini showcase of uh, Sucrose just wrecking some dogs with Oz and the rest of the people. Got Kokomi here, procking tons and tons of Electro Charge. Yeah, Fischl is amazing. Um, so the best here, again, is two-piece Shimanawa Glad and um, the uh, Thundering Fury. Her best weapons are going to be Polar Star, Stringless, and the Skyward Harp. But also some other options that are fine are like Alley Hunter, Blacklet Forbo, Midternox, uh, Thundering Pulse, Amos. But yeah, definitely uh, the top three are the best. If you can get your hands on a Stringless, then you'll be pretty well off. But what if you want to run a hybrid build? A hybrid build kind of consists of when you want to... Say you're in the Abyss and you're dealing with something like this that has a really high physical resistance. You want to deal some decent auto attack damage, but you also want to deal a lot of electro damage. Well, this build is actually very strong. Um, the gist of it is that you want an attack percentage goblet most of the time. And the Bitternox Waltz is definitely the best for this because you get the great part of both worlds being attack on your normal and your elemental skill. And of course, a lot of the same weapons as before, Black Cliff, any of the crit weapons, etc. So the attack percentage is very important here, but you can switch that around depending. Like if you're running a four piece pale flame, you can run an electro goblet and that will work really well. And same with the Shimanawa running an electro goblet. And you can also mix and match a lot of pieces here, including Electro, Physical, and Attack Percentage sets. Her best bow here is going to be Alley Hunter, Polar Star, Thundering Pulse, Metrodox Waltz. These all are fantastic options. And you can also use Skyward Harp, Amos, Bow, Rust, Black Cliff or the compound bow, because you are focusing on physical and electro at the same time. And it's a lot better than it sounds. A lot of time hybrid builds won't work very well in this game, but in her case, it works out pretty well. Okay, so let's get into her constellations. 
Her first consolation is, well, when Oz is not on the field, you get a little bit of extra physical damage, actually 22% of Fischl's attack, which doesn't sound like a lot. And, it, and to be fair, it's not, but it does add up because pretty much after every attack you get this and it's just free damage. Her Constellation 2 is definitely one of her best constellations. When you cast Oz or Knight Rider, it deals an additional 200% attack and its AoE is increased by 50%. This is an amazing constellation and definitely worth getting. And same with her constellation three. It just increases the level of Knight Rider, but that's where a lot of the electro damage comes from. So, well, actually that's where all the electro damage comes from. Her constellation four is absolutely nuts. It gives you an extra instance of AoE electro damage when casting Midnight Phantasmagoria, and also you regenerate 20% of Fischl's HP. So you can dash through a bunch of enemies and rain lightning onto all of them and heal yourself. And you can have your ult up pretty often, so she can kind of be a self healer. Obviously five is to raise Midnight Phantasmagoria. Now here's her most interesting constellation. It is her constellation six extends the duration of Oz on the field by two seconds. And this means that you can have 100% uptime on Oz. But that's not all. Your active character will deal 30% of Fischl's attack as electro damage. Any character on the field. And this is very, very strong. I'll show you an example of her Constellation 1. As you can see, it's proccing a little bit of extra physical on every hit. And when I cast Oz, I no longer get that. However, I'm getting that instance of Electro damage on every hit. So really good stuff, and you just fire so fast, and so many arrows and Electros go off. It, it, it's insane. Honestly, I highly, highly recommend this character. I hope that you found this guide helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I will try to respond. Um, please leave a like and subscribe as it would help me out a ton. And I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy Fischl. Bye.